the latest person to be assisting police inquiries into the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. Sergei Malinka was taken away by detectives from his apartment in the center of Luge. Earlier, the police had searched his home and appeared to take away a laptop computer and other equipment. I understand he came to the police voluntarily and is being treated as a witness rather than a suspect. Earlier in the day, Sky News interviewed him because of his business relationship with Robert Murat, the only formal suspect in the case. Mr. Malinka had helped him design a website for his business, which advertises property for sale in the Algarve. Never had problems with him, no. no. I think he's a, he's a cool guy. Actually, I'm quite surprised that this happened to him, to, you know, to get to this stage. As for Robert Murat, he's inside the villa he shares with his mother, waiting to find out whether he'll be charged or eliminated from the inquiry. Members of his family have been to visit to offer support and continue to tell the media that he's innocent. He can't sleep, he can't eat, he's pacing up and down, he feels trapped. It, it's awful, awful. His whole life's fallen, fallen apart. Just for being an over-enthusiastic, trying to help people, as, as he always does, that's his way. But people not knowing him have misunderstood it. Many people who know him insist he was only trying to be helpful to the media by spending so much time around the crime scene. Robert, as a person, is very talkative, very helpful, um, too helpful sometimes, and will get in, in people's way, um, when he, but he's just so keen to be liked by everybody and wanting to be part of the community. The Murat family used to run this garden centre. The man who bought it from them had many dealings with Robert Murat. He was so helpful, always very, very helpful person, perhaps to a fault. And in addition to the people who know him who defend his reputation, Robert Murat has been speaking out on his own behalf in an exclusive interview with Sky News. He says the investigation has ruined my life and has made things very difficult for my family here and in Britain. The only way I will survive this is if they catch Madeline's abductor. And he claims he's been made a scapegoat for something he didn't do. The police are reported to have knocked down a wall at the property during their search. The civil engineer who designed the villa in 1993 says it's a unique property, with one feature that may have made it more difficult for the police to get access to. It's on a very steep piece of land. That At the back where the living room is, there's a, a retaining wall, and the floor is on top of that. So there's a big hole underneath. But there's no access to or there wasn't when I finished building it. As well as Robert Murat, two of his friends who live in this apartment block were also questioned, but as witnesses, not suspects. In an attempt at anonymity, their names have been removed, but a neighbor confirmed they live on the first floor. Marietta Walchuk is thought to have been having a relationship with Mr. Murat, even though she's still living with Luis Antonio, her Portuguese partner. From her home in Norfolk, Mr. Murat's estranged wife, Dawn, has now issued her own statement, saying she was assisting police in any way she could. She added, I have been very concerned about the disappearance of young Madeline, and like everyone else, sincerely hope the search for her ends with a positive outcome. Mr. Murat has contacted British consular officials for help. As a citizen, he's entitled to do so. A spokesman for the British Embassy confirmed that they had offered assistance to a man involved in the Madeline McCann inquiry, even though they normally wouldn't get involved until someone had actually been charged with a crime. That assistance includes providing a list of suitable lawyers. Embassy officials are, of course, already helping Jerry and Kate McCann. Today, they were said to be in a positive mood, not because of developments in the inquiry, but because of the launch of the fund in Madeline's name, which they hope will help the search for their daughter. New images of Madeline have been released, another attempt to keep her name and face fresh in the minds of the public in the hope that someone, somewhere, will provide that vital tip-off. Ian Woods, Sky News, Prior Deluge.